might be with somebody It's different, it's different, it's different, it's different, it's different This shit is wrong another video today is monday the start of a weekly vlog as you guys can see i just got done working out i am sweaty i am dirty so i'm gonna go take a shower and then cook breakfast this is going to be a very busy week for me so i'm gonna take you guys with me we just got finished with black friday got a ship order start birthday prepping because my birthday is December 13th and I'm ordering my stuff. Well, some stuff I won't show you guys because I just want to reveal it on my birthday. So yeah, I want to do a little bit of organizing in the house. The garage, as you guys seen, it is a little bit messy down there. And for me to work out the way I want to, I have to work, in, work out in a clean area. Let's go cook some breakfast. Well, first I have to get in the shower because I'm feeling real dirty. So. back y'all it's been such a crazy 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 morning oh my gosh i'm just trying to stay level-headed so of course you guys know that i am doing a weekly vlog so you know filming everything etc etc this morning i woke up um oh my lips go dry i woke up went to go drop my son off at school Come to find out they don't even have school today. They just got back from the Thanksgiving break. So today's Monday and I'm like, what do you mean they don't have school today? I drove all the way there. His school is far from my house. I was like, whatever, that's fine. At least I woke up, you know, cause I have to work out anyway. So I wasn't like too much, it wasn't too much of a big deal. Like, yeah, mistakes happen. So I'm not gonna beat myself up about it. So I come home, work out as you guys seen. And I really didn't, I don't know, like that workout, I feel like I didn't put in enough, you know, put in enough work. 
cook breakfast, check my son's homework. Because I do make him uh, do homework when he's not in school. Just because you're not at school doesn't mean I'm going to let you sit around and do nothing. So yeah, I checked his homework. And I'm cooking breakfast and the fire alarm start going off. I'm trying to film while I'm cooking breakfast. And I don't know if I'm going to put that into this vlog. Because it's just all over the place, y'all. Like, all over the place. I'm still trying to get the hang of, you know, vlogging. And trying to give y'all quality and stuff. So it's just, it's a lot. So the fire alarm start going off while I'm cooking. For no reason at all. Because it's the amount of smoke that was in the house is the, a normal amount of smoke. I was making eggs for God's sake, like not a damn turkey. Now, on my way to, to my office, yes, you guys, I have an office. I'll show you guys that probably, probably sometime next year. I'm not, I don't know, I'm not sure. But yes, I have an office. So I'm on my way to the office. And the thing about it is, it was Black Friday, so I have orders that needs to be shipped. I ship out orders the same day or the next day, but these people that ordered, they ordered on Saturday and Sunday, and I don't process on Saturday and Sunday because like, that's the weekend. Businesses don't process items on Saturday and Sunday. So, I'm on my way to the office. I wanted to go to FedEx while I was already out, but for some reason, because I print from my MacBook or my iPhone, that printer is wireless and it goes to a HP printer. And I don't know if it's because I'm doing it from an Apple or what, but sometimes it doesn't send. So I have to go to the office, go back home, package the orders, then come back out to go to FedEx. I'm not complaining, y'all. I'm not complaining because thank, thank you, God, for the orders. Like, thank you, God, because it's been like this is before November. It's been a little down season for me. So I'm like, thank you, God. I'm not complaining that I have to ship the orders. Basically, it's back to regular scheduled programming. Like, you know, back to business, back to waking up early, back to working out. Like, vacation is over with. Then, I didn't even mention, Walmart restocked the PS5s. And I'm a Walmart Plus member. So, they only restocked the PS5s for those who are Plus members. They restocked them at 11 o'clock. I've been on the computer since 10.30 this morning. Mind you, I'm cooking breakfast on the computer, checking homework, doing this, doing that. I'm refreshing, 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 refreshing. No PS5. It wouldn't let me add it to the cart. It said it was available, didn't let me add it to the cart. Then it said it was only available for Walmart Plus members, and I am a Walmart Plus member. So it's just like, damn. Like, damn. Damn, 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 damn. I'm just tired, y'all. Like, when I go home, I'm going to ship those orders today. But when I go home, I'm getting, I'm going to just relax and kick back and get on my computer order me a purse like that's what we're doing i'm gonna order me a purse today because why how dare the universe try to get me all jumbled up like this no ma'am it's not happening so that's what's going on today y'all baby let's go back home I didn't park in the handicap section. I don't care, child. I got an office here. I grabbed everything I needed plus more. Just so I don't have to come back today. Because I know I'll get more orders today. And I just want to be at home and lay down. So I just grabbed things that I think people will order. And then that's it. I'm going back home. I haven't got on the I haven't got online to end my Black Friday sale yet, so I know it's gonna be some people to fall through them cracks, and I'm not mad at it. Save y'all some money, cause baby, today Cyber Monday, and my private Cyber Monday sale starts today. So if you shop at my Black Friday sale, then you have access to the private Cyber Monday sale. It's been a busy morning, but I prayed for this, so we're gonna work through it. I'm not gonna complain. Remember I was writing to y'all about not locking my nails. So the design grew on me. But check this out. The girl who did my nails, didn't, she didn't do them as good as the, la as the other lady who I used to go to. My nails is already lifting. And I'm annoyed. Like, I am so annoyed. Because I don't want to go sit back in that nail shop. Um, so, I don't know if it's because this time I did the dipping powder. And the other time I do the regular powder. So, 
I, don't, I, I mean, I don't know what's going on. And I pay almost two hundred dollars for my nails and toes. Make it make sense, please. So today I'm gonna call up there and be like, "Hey, I come here all the time. I never have this issue when I was seeing Jennifer or Jessica, whatever her name is, and my nails are lifting all of a sudden, and it's only been a week. Please make it make sense, please." <laughs> So you know what I just thought about y'all? I told my sister that I was gonna come back to Instagram in January uh, to rebuild my personal brand because now I have a much more clear mind because I've been journaling, much more in tune with who I really am as far as like my boundaries, what I allow, what I what I need to stop sharing, what, when I'm oversharing, and stuff like that. Now I'm having second thoughts on it. I'm having second thoughts because every single day there's some a depressing ass shit. Just it, small things like it, it just it weighs heavy on my heart. Like yesterday she sent me that Virgo, Virgo, the creative director for Louis Vuitton died, and I was just like Virgil. Why did I say Virgo? Virgil, the creative director for Louis Vuitton, passed away from cancer and that just triggered me so bad it's just like every day is sad shit then she sent me i told her stop sending me stuff i said girl please stop sending me stuff like damn she sent me um tiana taylor in the hospital and even before i got off of instagram i unfollowed all those gossip blogs i unfollowed the neighborhood talk i unfollowed justin la boy and i unfollowed shade room these people have more money than us and they are always in some shit it's always something I want to come back, I do, to grow my personal brand because I'm in a much better space. Personal wise, I don't think I am. I really I really don't know. Like even with TikTok, I have this thing set on my phone to where um, if I go over a certain amount of time on it, it's required a passcode. Once that passcode screen comes up, I get off. Like, I put my phone down. Because I, I want to be able to grow my brand on social media. But I don't want to rely on social media. And I say that to say, like, hey, I grew my YouTube without having Instagram or Facebook. I grew it to only 31 subscribers. But still, y'all, like, it's very possible. So I want to be able to come back on Instagram and say, hey, I started this without having to be on social media and it was organically grown i didn't have people just watching me just to just to watch me basically i have people that follow me who actually want to see my content maybe i'll put, put some boundaries on myself as far as as far as like hey you're gonna upload your content you have a schedule and then you're gonna get off and if you want to post something to the story post it and get off you know stay on there and dead scroll for no reason Dead scrolling is when you're just constantly scrolling all day long with no motive. You're just on there with no motive. So I did a lot of that when I was on um, Instagram and Facebook. I did a lot of that to the point where it's just like, ugh, like it was just, I don't know. It just felt so, it just felt so like heavy. Like it was just a heavy spiritual thing that was on me. So I think. I think that's what it is. I'll set boundaries in place. If I do, if I do decide to come back. If January comes and I just feel like, nah, I don't even feel like fooling with Instagram or Facebook right now. Like, then that's just what it's going to be. I'll probably push it back another six months. So, I know for a fact I'm not missing anything on there. Like, it's just the same thing that's going on. I'm not missing nothing. I love my life to the point where it's just like, my life is lit. I don't have to be on social media to feel alive. The things I do in real life, that's what that's what lights the fire under me. Like I'm that girl. I know a lot of people like look up to um, social media influencers and feel like they're it girls, but nah, I'm that it girl. Respectfully, all those things that they're doing, I've done and I will do as well. So it's not like I'm glorifying or romanticizing somebody else's life. I want to romanticize my own life. That's why I feel like. I'm not in such a rush to get back on social media because people get that high from looking at other people's lives and glorifying, oh, I can't wait for that to be me. 
but I don't need to do that. I'm living the life that they're living or better and much more at peace. And I know it's probably come up as bragging, but I'm just saying to say this, romanticize your own life. You don't have to, or now she call it like, you don't have to get that high from social media all the time. Start romanticizing your own life. And what do they have that you don't have except for a cuter picture? Come back. Romanticize your own life. Hey y'all, welcome back. It is now Tuesday. I think I left off yesterday during the daytime talking about um, to romanticize your own life. I think that's where I left off at. I just crashed and burned. I went to bed around, I'll say, probably nine o'clock. I was, I could barely even wait for the food to get here. Like I was like, dozing off it was it was crazy i didn't even cook last night i ordered food so i reached my um order limit for the week i'm not ordering no more food this week um and i know it's only tuesday which is crazy and i only ordered one time i have three times anyway um got off track but i was saying that to say like y'all yesterday i eventually crashed and burned it was not my day yesterday like it was i was just all over the place my workout was all over the place. Breakfast was all over the place. Literally, it was just a lot. So today I'm in better spirits. Much better spirits. I got up, worked out. My workout was, it felt so great. Like I feel so good right now. Got up, got in the shower. I haven't ate breakfast yet. I'm gonna eat at 12. So I'm doing intermittent fasting again to where I don't eat until 12 and I don't eat after eight o'clock at night. Feel good. Just got out the shower wearing this lounge dress from Skims. Um, I know it's super long on me. I'm sorry. I'm short as hell. Probably like five one. So yeah, that's what I'm wearing. Skims, and I'm wearing my little scarf. I haven't put on my uh, wig yet. Don't feel like having hair touch my neck right now. I do have some big news that I want you guys to see before I even announce it. Just so you guys can like know what's going on. It's something that I applied for on October 14th and got an email on the 23rd saying that I was chosen to be one of the recipients. So I'm happy about that. Um, I'm going to show you guys what I'll record my interview and everything with them. Just so you guys can see. I really don't plan on doing much. Yesterday I really put a lot on myself. Like I was... I put a lot on myself yesterday. Like I was trying to do way too much and today I was like, hey, like, sis, you may be super warm sometimes, but you can't be super warm all the time. So today you're chilling, sis. You're gonna sit pretty and you're gonna chill. You're gonna watch a couple of YouTube videos. You're gonna do your interview. You're gonna ship some orders and that's what it's gonna be. I can't stress myself out every day. I really can't. Skim's quality is impeccable. Like. Say what you want about Kim Kardashian, but come on now. You can't deny the quality. Like the quality is there. You cannot deny it. Look, look at this. Look how it looks the body. And this Pacific dress, they don't make anymore. I don't know why Skim stopped making this dress. I ordered the long sleeve one. So I can, it should be coming in this week. I still haven't got my confirmation. Yeah, they don't make this one no more. And I ordered the long sleeve version in the same fabric. It's like a nudish orange color. Can't wait till it gets here. <laughs> Giving the girls body. Body, body. The only thing when I do wear skims after I get out the shower, my oil rubs off on my dress. That's the only thing. Ugh. Other than that, I love my skims, honey. Snatch to the boards. So I'm looking in the mirror just to look at my face because I started this new face uh, products. Face is immaculate. Do you guys see my skin? Look at that. The skin, honey, baby. Mm. Hi, thank you so much. Mm-hmm. 
yes it's a pleasure i've never never won anything before so it's just i don't know it's just so crazy to be winning this and i'm so grateful i'm so thankful for it all i just I applied on the last day and because I didn't know and I was just so happy to be searching the website and I seen it and I was, took a leap of faith and applied to this grant and I just I can't believe that I was even like my business was even recognized it's just so crazy it's so mind-blowing mm -hmm. exactly and I am so grateful, even with the free year of business coaching, like all of those things are going to get utilized for sure. Thank you. Yes, y'all. So as you guys seen, I was on a phone call with, I was on a phone call with Comcast. They had this grant. They um was running they do it all the time because i see it every year and i just so happened to apply again because i was denied the first time and this time i actually got it a grant that you use towards your business and it comes with a free year of coaching so i am super grateful super happy that they chose like the look as a winner i ah, I just don't know what to say and it's so funny because I was like I was praying one day last week and I was like God give me a sign to keep going with my business it sometimes I feel like I get burnt out so and two days later two days later after I prayed to God I said God please give me a sign please give me a sign to keep going keep going with my business I literally don't know what else to do like that that was my full prayer and I was talking to God like I was talking to myself in my head and two days later, y'all, I received that email that said, congratulations. We are happy to inform you that Comcast Rise has chosen Let the Look to be a recipient of our $10,000 grant. So, yes. Oh, I'm so happy. Thank you, guys. I just wanted to get on here and show you guys that. I up here earlier about, um, I spoke with Linda. I'm not sure yes. if that's you. Yes, ma'am. Um, I came here last week and spent over $200 and my nails are already coming up. And I come here all the time, so I need this to be fixed or I need my money back. Because I just got back in the country and this is it. Chip is coming up. This is coming up. This is coming up. And I know this is not how it's supposed to be because I come here all the time. And the person that I usually come to doesn't work mm -hmm. here anymore. Mm -hmm. So I went to somebody named Sophia this time. And this, yeah, this is ridiculous. Give me one second. Okay. Alexia? Alexia. Mm hmm. Sophia? Okay. Thank you. Can I get you anything to drink? Um, can I have ice water, please? I'm just getting done with my nails at the nail shop. I'm glad I went back because the way this lady just did my nails. The way this other lady just did my nails is a lot better than what that last person did. I don't know what in the entire hell that first lady did. And I think that's why I didn't like it when I said it was growing on me. Because, baby, no man, I don't know what the hell she's going to do. It's the hottest stuff. But these, these are it, honey. And I didn't pay anything, but I just wanted to tip her. There's always some type of event over here. Thank you so much. You too. We are finally back home. I'm about to settle in. I'm not too sure what I'm going to eat, but it's almost 8 o'clock. Well, it's 6.30 right now, so if I'm going to eat, I need to eat right now. Because I'm not trying to eat so late. 8 is my cutoff time to eat, so maybe I'll eat some leftovers from yesterday, but I don't want to eat any rice because rice makes me bloat like crazy. I don't know what it is with rice, but it's it makes me bloat like crazy, so I don't want to eat any rice. Um, I am 125, and my I, I'm usually between 120 and 122. So 125 is kind of a 
kind of a little thick for me and I don't like it. So I need to get rid of these three pounds before my birthday. So yeah, I'm not eating any rice. Um, I'm gonna go buy some veggies tomorrow. I have ground beef downstairs. I don't feel like cooking nothing though. And that's what we're gonna do. I don't feel like um, cooking, so I'll eat some chicken for as a leftover. Oops, I'll eat some chicken for dinner that I have left over. Um, just so I can have something in my stomach. So I don't wake up in the middle of the night hungry because if, if I don't eat, I'm waking up in the middle of the night hungry and I'm going to be anxious and annoyed and all of this other stuff. So I'm going to uh, get in the bed and I'm about to watch, um, I'm about to watch um, Aaliyah's face new vlog. I think she uploaded so I'm going to go watch her and then I have another person that I like to watch as well. So peace out you guys. Have a good night. See you guys tomorrow. Welcome back. It's Wednesday. Uh, what time is it? I really don't even know what time it is. Let me check. Oh, only 10, 10 28. So, I just got some packages in the mail from Amazon. Let's see, I don't, I don't know why I thought this already came assembled. I don't like putting things together. If it's too difficult, I'm not doing it. My man does. I don't want to hurt my brain trying to put stuff together. But anyway, so I bought me a mic for my uh, camera. So you guys, my my audio is going to improve because it's been way overdue for a mic now. I've been having this camera since two years ago or last year, I think. But I just started vlogging and been on YouTube for only a month. So. You know, I just had to test the waters and stuff and look up which type of camera I needed to get. So this one is the Mookie, I guess. I don't know if that's how you say it. Um, so it has a cord that connects, but then because of the type of camera I have, which is the G7X Mark II, I have to get an additional cord so it can connect to that cord and then connect to the camera. I don't know why um, Canon made this camera like this where we can't just connect the damn mic and keep it going, but it's all good. And then this, I believe this is my stand for my bathroom. Just to uh, give it a more aesthetically pleasing look because I don't like when things are all over the place. I can't think like that. Like if my place is cluttered, then I feel like my mind is cluttered. Okay, I'm not breaking my nail opening this. I'm not impressed. I know I haven't opened it yet, but I'm not impressed by the way it's looking. Why did I think it was already going to come assembled? <laughs> I'm very funny. So the assembly instructions don't look too difficult. This is the finished product. But I just, I'm not feeling this. I, I don't really, I don't know. I'm not in the mood to put anything together right now, but let's see. Let's see y'all. We have the leg, well, okay, the four little legs. And I'm really good at putting stuff together myself. It's just the simple fact that Sometimes you just don't want to put shit together yourself. That's what a man's for. Okay, we have. I'm here, like, girl, what are you doing? But the reason why I'm buying stuff from my house is because, well, my house already looks nice. Like, I am a huge firm believer if you can wear designer, if you can go to these steak houses and all that, your house needs to be put together. And you don't have to spend a lot of money to do that. So, that's just my belief. Don't nobody fight me. I'm just saying, you just don't need to have a Gucci bag if your bed is sitting on the floor with no headboard and your dresser is chipped. But that is my opinion. 
Okay. I don't I don't think that you need to be wearing designer and your house is looking crazy. I am a firm believer in you need to, your house needs to look how you dress. If your car nice, your house can be nice. If you got the latest designer on, that house better be nice. That house better be clean. And you better have blinds and curtains and all the rest of that good stuff. No exceptions, no excuses. Because furniture is not even that high. You can do it on the payment plan, etc., etc. Okay? But don't let me get to preaching. Don't let me get to preaching, y'all. I'm just saying. Damn. So, yeah, this is from my bathroom. Just to get things in more of a bit of a order so stuff is not all over the place. And I got, they had a, um, a metal looking color, but no, that, it was a hot mess. I have like, I think like six packages coming this month. No, it's over six. So I had these two. I have four more coming from Amazon. I ordered a purse. My dress is coming for my birthday today. My hair is coming for my birthday. That's a good question. My Sorry you guys, my camera went dead. I didn't even know how child. I was just talking, talking, talking. I'm waiting on my wig to come because I have to drop my wig off two to three days in advance before I before I actually go get my hair done. If not, it's gonna be an $80 fee. I think it's $80 if I do it the same day. So hopefully my hair comes on. So the thing is with my bathroom, I'm turning it into like almost like a spa bathroom. So it's gonna be real vibey, like real vibey. My man said, oh, you always want to spend money, that's right. What else is the money for? No, I'm playing. But, so this stand right here is for my facial stuff, my hand cream. Of course, it's not gonna go right here, but this is what it's for, so. But I can't put it in there until my perfume stand comes because the perfume stand is in the way of this and i have a lot of perfume y'all i have a huge collection like a super huge collection i'm gonna do a separate video on that just so you guys can see and then i was gonna go to i was gonna go to um my office today to ship orders but I got the orders yesterday, so I can go tomorrow if I have to. I'm not going to stress myself to do it today because I want to go to the grocery store and get some healthy stuff, like I told you guys yesterday. Because for lunch, I'm going to just eat some um, some ground beef with some vegetables. I'm not going to stress myself about going to my office today. Oh, yeah. And then outside of the package that I have coming, I have a gift coming. And it's going to be here before my birthday. So I'll probably show you guys that. Or I don't know if I should put it in my birthday vlog. So I'm kind of like, I don't know. I did go change because this shirt looks a lot better. It's much more flattering. To head to Randall's. I am hungry. I need some healthy stuff to eat. Do I need earrings? I'll leave Randall's. Or maybe I should go to Lululemon before I go to Randall's. Because I really want to stop in there and get me some stuff. Go young moon, pick up what you want. Her man loom, pick up what you want. No Chanel moon, pick up what you want. Puppin' tags, I've been puppin' tags. What if I get you talking about? I can get your ass hit. How about that car? Nigga, they gon' smash a bitch. Woo. I got America most nigga. I'm gon' hit me a lick. Sippin' on touch, fuckin' the hustle. Sorry guys. 
that's acrylic display stand, but of course you can put whatever you want to put on there. I don't know what this, oh, this is for the bottom. And it says to screw these on. Leg two. And that piece goes on the bottom like that. And then my perfumes will go up here. Now, the only thing is, where am I going to put this at? Is the question. I really want to put it somewhere up here. But then I will have to redo my whole entire shoe area. Then your perfume isn't supposed to be in the light. So. That's why I'm trying to see where do I want to put this. Because it's not usually light out here, but it's it's uh, better to have your perfume and fragrances and um, fragrances in a darker area. So. So I'll put it right here and I line those three up. I really don't like how full that uh, this row looks right here. It's too full for me. I don't like that. So this is how it looks with like on my shoe shelf. I'm going to need another stand because I have too much perfume that's still left in the bathroom. So I order another stand when I'm doing my perfume haul. Just so you guys can see at, all at once so I don't have to keep uh, revisiting my perfume. But I'm really liking it. I'm really liking it. <sighs> don't mind my perfume right there. It doesn't have a top. I don't know what happened to it. Isn't it so cute right here? So let's see how it looks from this point of view. Like, is it? So is it like giving what it needs to give? Is it like looks out of place? Does it look too cluttered? I don't know, y'all. Give me suggestions, please. I just want to make sure it looks okay. Should I move it up? Should I move it over? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see, though. I think it's cute, though. I think it's cute. So, we'll see. I'm about to film for my um, birthday vlog right quick. So, I'm going to catch you guys later. Hi, you guys. It is Thursday. We're almost at the end of the week, y'all. Mm. What time is it? It's only 8.21 in the morning. I think I'm going to get on the computer today to look up some tutorials for the final, final Cut Pro on how to use it because I finally have it. It came with my birthday gift. So, I need to figure out how to use it. I looked at a video not too long ago, and it doesn't seem too difficult. You just got to get the hang of the small things just like iMovie. Because believe it or not, I'm just not learning how to use iMovie. Like, just in detail. With the music, cutting out. I mean, then it's while you're talking, but the volume is going down. So, I just learned how to do that stuff. So, I'm sure Final Cut Pro is not hard at all. I'm a more of a um, hands-on person and well hearing the directions and then doing it immediately 
and I have to practice, 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 and then I'll get it. But I'm sure it's not too hard. Oh, I have to order me another tripod off of Amazon because this tripod fits my phone and my camera, and it gets annoying to keep spinning this camera off of the of the tripod just to put my phone on when I'm shooting um, TikTok. So I'd just rather buy two of them. I mean, it's only like twenty dollars, so why not? Oh, I need some silk pillowcases, y'all. I do. Because it's silk press season, so. Yeah. It's dark gray. Maybe. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get dark gray. Y'all really can't probably, I probably can't see it. But let me get out this bed, y'all. Because if I don't, I'll be laying here all day. I'm going to make me some oatmeal, y'all. I don't feel like cooking breakfast right now. Because it's already 8.40. And I'm really not supposed to be eating anything until 12. But your girl had a massive headache yesterday, so I don't know if that's where it came from. Just pour my little water up in there. Maybe I should put some bananas on the side or blueberries. I'm finally back up, you guys. Finally got dressed and out of the bed. I had my oatmeal for breakfast, but I'm waiting for my salmon to thaw out. So I can season it and have it ready for dinner tonight so I don't slip up and eat out because last night I did not cook I had a super duper headache and I end up ordering pizza now my stomach hurt from eating that pizza so it's just like oh, your girl can't win for nothing but clearly I'm wearing skims and a sweatshirt from Target super cute hey guys I just got back from my office I had to ship some orders off because, um, uh oh, got a stain on my pants. FedEx closes at, I think, 9 or 10. But I didn't want to wait that late to go because it's, I don't like moving around when it's too dark outside. Looking for my scissors. Hmm, I didn't clean my purse out. But no, the rest of my Amazon orders are in, y'all. So let's see. See. Let's see what we have. I believe this is the this is the cord to my mic to attach my cam uh, to attach my camera to it. So y'all can hear me much better. Yep. That's what it is. Did they send me two? Yeah, they sent me two. So if you have the Canon G7X Mark II, you should definitely order this so you can use your mic and, well, you can use this Mookie mic. I hope I'm saying this name right. You can use this Mookie, Mookie mic because I'm not sure how, um, how Canon thought people were going to be able to use this camera with no mic if they didn't put the correct input thingy. I don't know. And then this, oh, <laughs> y'all, today I was throwing a fit about my earrings. I was like, where, these are my birthday earrings, y'all. And I was like, where are my earrings at? I went, I sent my boyfriend to the mailbox to get my earrings. He said, no, is, there's no package in here. So my attitude been back for a whole hour. Like, and these are it right here. <laughs> no, okay, so I'm gonna open these on my birthday vlog. Cause I just realized next week is when we start the festivities. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. And I believe this is my workout set that I like to wear as a lounge set sometimes. But I like to be cute when I'm working out, so it, it gives me motivation. Cause I'm like, damn, my waist snatched, booty snatched, everything snatched. Like, if your workout clothes are cute, I'm a firm believer that if your workout clothes are cute then you automatically like I don't know you automatically want to work out some more because you see the results like you see the results like Lululemon I think I'm going there for my birthday because baby yeah okay so let's open this let me show y'all let me show you guys why does it smell like that okay so this right here I don't know if you guys can really see but this is right, this right here is so I can have my um, tripod and my mic connected to my camera at the same time. And I ordered two because I'm going to have two tripods. And just in case if I lose one, I have another one. 
So I think you should always order two of everything just in case because you never know, y'all. You never know. This is my cute workout set from Amazon, y'all. These are so freaking cute. The quality quality is amazing, and I'm really big on quality, like super big on quality. And honestly, I'm not even lying. This feels like something that you can order off of Farfetch. I wish I was lying, but no. This is only like twenty dollars too. Twenty dollars, and I wore this out before. Well, not this exact one, but a different color. I wore this out before, and everyone's like, "Oh, this is so cute. Where'd you get it from?" I was like, "Amazon," and it was only such and such. And they was like, send me the link. And I was like, well, I can see you the link, but I want to get paid for it. And I don't know how to sign up for that stuff because I see that you have to have a certain amount of followers. And I closed my Instagram account down. So it's just like, Amazon, y'all going to have to break the girl off if, I, if I'm referring everybody to this. Come on. Come on. Meet me halfway, please. So that's the top to it. And these are the pants. And just because this came tonight... I'm gonna work out tomorrow. Cause we, who y'all think y'all sitting on? We we putting this on tomorrow, okay? Period. So we're gonna put that on tomorrow when we work out. I'm about to test my camera out. I mean, not my camera, my mic. I'm about to test this mic out. I'm funny. Like my whole attitude been bad, and it's right here. Honestly, y'all, like some days I just be so stressed out because I have so much to do. And it's just like, I feel like I don't get a breather. Like I, I can't get a, I can't catch up. And with this new time, it's just like, there's not enough time in a day to the point where I want to film content. I want to film content for my YouTube, film content for my TikTok, do vlogmas, do my birthday vlog, um, work on my business, go to my office, go to the library, get a new book. And then Ed come back home and edit it. And I want my edits to be on point. And I want to learn new stuff from YouTube to, you know, apply to my own YouTube channel. It's just so hard. So at nighttime, I try to get on a computer, but it's just like, I'm dead tired. I'm dead tired. I don't know. Um, some days I really, 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 really do get overwhelmed. Like today, my anxiety, like... I don't know where my anxiety started fucking with me really bad. Like my whole entire mood changed. I'm not even lying. It was yeah today. I yesterday I was feeling good, and I don't and out of nowhere today my mood just shot down. And I think that's because I didn't work out today. If I don't work out, I feel yeah no. So I, yeah, I'm almost looking to work out tomorrow because I don't like the way I feel it when I don't work out. It's just yeah. My mood, my mood was off today. It was off. Because there's a lot of stuff that's going on that I can't really speak about. And it's just like, I don't know, y'all. Mm, some, sometimes just like, sometimes you get tired of being a bigger person. Sometimes you get tired of being the bigger person all the time. And it never feels Alexia always have to be this bigger, bigger person. It's like, why can't nobody else ever be the bigger person? Why does it always have to be me? Why does it always always have to be me? And it's, I don't know, it's starting to take a toll on me. So I tried to schedule an appointment with my therapist, but she didn't text me back. So I don't know if she must be on vacation or what. But yeah, today, it wasn't a bad day, but it's just like, I had a lot of stuff on my mind. And it's, I don't know. But I do know, I know for sure that I need to go on a vacation before the year end to get my mind back on track for next year. Because baby, <laughs> Nah, nah, absolutely not, nah, I deserve it, like big time, and then I'm also going to go buy me a new purse, but my I, my therapist said that I should work on that, every time I'm stressed, your girl go blow back, like a damn millionaire, so I need to work on that, but I am going to go get this new purse, because, excuse me, you want me to be stressed and not have the purse that I want? No. No. So this is the mic. Well, this is the cover to it. This thing looks this thing looks small, ain't it? And let's see what we have here. Just a little baggy. Let's see what they gave us. Amazon be coming in handy, y'all. I can't even lie. They pissed me off a couple times, but Amazon be coming in 
handy. I can't even lie. It's so convenient. That's what I love. It's just like, oh, thank you so much. Okay, so what do we have? How do we do this? Someone talk to me. Okay, here goes the mic. I was about to say, they ain't seen no damn mic in But they did. So let's calm down. So this is the mic. This is a cord that does not connect to Canon. I don't know why they made it like that. But this is the cord that they send you. I mean, well, this is the cord that you have to order if you have the G7X Mark II. So you just connect it to there. I think. There you go. And then you connect this to the camera on the side. So what I'm about to do is we're about to test this out to see, you know, let me know if y'all hear an audio difference in this mug. Because I'm trying to improve all of my content. Because if you have the budget to in, in, in improve the quality of your content, then why not improve it? Why not improve something that's going to make you stand out? Hmm? Why not? So, now we have to put this on. So, I'm about to score you guys off. Be right back. Okay, this is how it looks with the mic. I don't know. I don't know if you guys would be able to hear a difference until I'm done recording this to actually see. But... Although it's not really aesthetically pleasing, I do appreciate the whole setup because, you know, but the only thing is this part bends because of this. So I'm going to have to move this out. Let me do that now because I don't want to damage my camera. There we go. And then I think this part is supposed to be facing me. I don't know, but I look cute, don't I? So... Let me see if y'all can actually hear a difference. I'm going to pause this video and then come back and see. So, let's try. Okay, so I didn't hear a difference, y'all. So, I turned the mic around to see. So, now we're going to check again just to see because if this is not working, I need to figure out why. And if not, I'm taking her back. Well, I'm sending her back. So I really don't hear a difference, honestly. I don't hear a difference. So I'm going to upload this to the computer just to see if I hear a difference. And if not, y'all, this is going back. I would really like to have a mic, don't get me wrong, but it's just like, what are we doing? Why are you not working? Can you please act right and stop embarrassing us, sis? I'm going to YouTube some stuff tonight and let you guys know what I come up with because I really want my mic to work. That's why I got it. And just like, okay, are you not going to work for me? But no, like I was saying, like, sometimes I do get, sorry y'all, this, and then another thing with this tripod, it does, it does, um, the, with the mic and this new piece on it, it does make it, like, fall to the side a little bit, which, I don't know, I gotta get a little used to, see, it just did it again, so, I guess I gotta even it out, this is, I'm just trying to get used to new YouTube equipment, so like I was saying, y'all, I do get like a bit not irritated but I do get anxious I my anxiety is very bad like I do have very very bad anxiety to the point where it's just like I have to like talk myself down like okay sis it's not as bad as you thinking it is like calm down then I have to go journal and I need to take a breather like sometimes it's sometimes it's bad it is is bad and i just sometimes i just have to like i'm just like damn like i'm in my own head so much to the point where i don't even exist out of my own head sometimes it's like it's not my it's not my my romantic relationship with my boyfriend it's not money it's just 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 i don't know just like everyday stuff that gets the best to me and i just be like what is it but when I work out, I feel so good. But when I don't, it's just like I hit, like I just smack my face on the concrete. I don't know what what's the reason behind that, but yeah, I do have issues with my anxiety, like bad. I even I even have a prayer on my on my screensaver that I read when my anxiety is bad, and 
Here, see, look. Oh, wait, y'all, sorry, my bad. I didn't even notice my notifications was, was in the way. Girl, get it together. Because it's just like, sometimes I want to do so much, but it's just like I have it all in my head, but I don't know how to get it out of my head to execute it. And when I think of so much, it's like a million and one tabs are open in my head. And it sometimes just gets so overwhelming because it's like I have stuff so much to do outside of the things that are in my head. And just like, okay, one thing at a time, Alexia. Then sometimes I forget to stop and breathe. Like, girl, just breathe. Just breathe and exist outside of your own body. And that's so hard to do. Like, exist in the presence. Like, be present where you're at. And that is so hard to do sometimes. It's just like, like today I wanted to vlog so much. And I didn't because just like I was going, 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 going. And I'm trying to get used to like grabbing my camera and getting stuff done. But it's like sometimes it's like to me, real life happens. Like you can't just always grab your camera and be like, okay, 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 okay. Let me let me get my let me do this. Let me do that. Let me do this. And then have the camera in the hand at the same time. So I don't know. And this is something I've been battling way before I even joined YouTube. So I do, yeah. I, yeah, and there's my birthday, it's about to be my birthday, so it's just, when, when I have events coming up, not even for my own self, like birthday parties or events that, that are scheduled and planned, my anxiety goes so damn crazy, like, I hate planning stuff, I hate, I hate, I hate when people plan stuff and then tell me about it, because it's just like, I dwell on that date that's coming up, and I think about all the possible things that can go wrong, like, I don't know like it's just I don't know why that is I really don't know I really don't know and it's just but when sometimes the events when I do get there everything is all good and I'm just looking at myself like why were you tripping like that like what's wrong with you girl like calm the hell down it's not I don't know I don't know but that's why I've been journaling that's why I've been working out and that's why I've been trying to eat better and see my therapist because every day ain't always luxury Every day is not always get cute, get dressed up, and let's go out to eat. My mind be going crazy, like crazy, especially when you have so many dreams and you have so much ambition and you have all of these ideas in your head. You, yeah, yeah, your mind is going to be all over the place. And that's why I'm trying to get more organized because if I don't, my head is going to explode off of my neck. Like literally, literally my head is going to explode off of my neck. Sorry guys, sorry, I had to rant. I had to keep it real. I had to rant and that's my thing. I want to keep my channel about, I want to do luxury. I want to do lifestyle. I want to do all of that. But I also want it to be real life because not every single day is glitz and glam and roses and flowers. It's not. It's really not. And I've come a long way with my depression and anxiety. Like I really, really have. I really, really have it. I'm going to do some story times for y'all. I've come a long way, and I thank God. God is so amazing. The things that I used to pray about and dream about and fantasize about and cry tears about, I am living it now, and I can't thank God enough. I cannot thank him enough. Like, some days I just sit and thank him. Like, I don't see how anybody can doubt God. Sometimes I do get frustrated. Don't get me wrong. It's okay to get frustrated, but sometimes you have to tell yourself, girl, have patience. It's coming. It may not come when you ask for it. But it's going to come when he see fit. And that's very true because the things that I have now, the places that I've been, the places where I live, it's, it's, it's unbelievable because this is what I've manifested in my head. I've manifested my entire life. I literally have from, from the smallest, smallest, smallest things to the biggest of the biggest things I've manifested in. That to me... To me, that is so crazy how the mind can do that, how God works and how everything just just combines together in the midst of it all. And it's like, yeah, I went through a very traumatic experience losing my daughter. That I think that right there really has 75%. It that that molded me 75%. But that was part of the plan. It's That's very sad to say, but that was part of the plan. That was part of the plan all along. And I can't control that. I can't control any of that. But I can say that God has brought me very far from that situation. And I am 
super thankful and blessed. But don't let me get to preaching, y'all. I'm just trying to work, check out my mic, and yeah. I just have to have a quick little intervention with myself because sometimes we just need to take a breather. Take a breather and thank God and just step outside of your mind and just breathe, girl. Just breathe. <sighs> okay. Oh, I'm going to call it a night. I'm going to try to work on some stuff while I can. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully, I can figure out my mic situation. So. Hey guys, welcome back to my weekly vlog. I know I didn't film yesterday and I'm super duper sorry. But today we are redecorating my room. I want to get my um, office and film area and glam room switched around and put my um, iMac desktop up in here. So I need to um, move some stuff around first. Cause I don't want my course to be showing, but then I don't want this right here. And it's a mess in here, y'all. And I look a mess. I know, but my birthday is coming up, so I don't need to do my hair or my nails right now. But anyway, that's it. That's it. That's it. So, um, it's a mess in here. My Chick Fil A stuff is all over there. But I'm just trying to see where I want to put everything. This is my shoes and my purse shelf. But this mirror, you guys know, is typically right here in the middle. But I do want to move this table right here to the middle just I don't know it looks to me I think it looks so good right there but I have nowhere to put my mirror and I need this full lift mirror in here because why would I not have a full lift mirror in here and it's a glam room it doesn't make any sense so we have to watch me try to figure out how to remodel this room and redecorate and reposition everything so yeah let's get started So I am done, pretty much done putting together my room. Um, I set up my birthday gift. I'm not going to show you guys because that's part of the birthday vlog. So, but I had to set it up today because I do need to use it to start working on something. So I just got a package from Skims. I, that's not part of my birthday. So I just ordered it just to order because I am a huge Skims fanatic and I can't help myself. I know it's very sad, but, um, I haven't eaten anything all day. I'm probably going to go downstairs and make some salmon. Salmon, salmon, however you want to say it. I'm really hungry and I want to make some salmon. So, yeah. I look really, really raggedy, but I'm not trying to put no clothes on right now. I just, I just want to chill. Today feels like a Sunday for me, prob probably because I'm reorganizing everything. But I really just want to chill. I'm not trying to put no clothes on and do none of that. So, I mean, I know I look cute when I'm dressed up, so I don't have to get dressed or anything to film this. I'm sorry. This is not, I'm not cute every day. Like, I have my, well, I'm cute, period. But, I mean, you know, y'all know what I mean. Like, I'm not done up every day. I have my scarf on because I don't feel like putting my wig on. We're going to get our hair done on Friday. And then, um, I have some boy shorts on from Juicy Couture and a muscle shirt from Walmart. And, yeah, I'm not, 
I'm not about to get dressed. I'm not about to do anything today. What do I have to do today? Pretty much nothing. And I'm gonna uh, throw these boxes out to the dumpster. I'm not gonna put this in my front trash because I don't want nobody. Yeah, that's just that's just a thing of mine. Like I just feel like people go through people trash and try to see what they have. Probably not, especially where I live because it's a gated community. Community, but still. Yeah, we're gonna take these to the dumpster and then y'all wanna see what I got from Scams? Let's see what I got from Scams. So I did just film a TikTok of my anniversary gift. And that was my first time filming a TikTok on my camera. Which is the camera that I'm filming on. Oh, here go my suit. Okay. Y'all know the gist. Y'all know what it is. Let me take a cute, instant, um, a cute thumbnail photo right quick. I ordered quite a bit. Quite a bit. This piece, that piece, I think. This one's two. And this, is one. this one is gonna be my favorite, y'all. I ordered that, um, so I have that, that slip dress that I have on earlier in the vlog. I ordered the long sleeve one that she just came out with. I really wanted it in black, but this camera color, baby, baby. And the this dress, ooh, bam. The way this dress hugs the body, Kim knows she need a whooping. No, she need a whooping. Mm. Like it fits so cute. I seen this petite girl. She's like my size have it on. And I was like, oh yes, honey. I gotta get that. And I got this in a size. What size is it? Oh, I got a small. This is so freaking cute. This is super cute. And her color selection is everything, y'all. And of course I had to get the bottoms to match because why not? Yes, ma'am. I got these in the small too. I know they say you can size down a few sizes, but I don't I can't wear tight stuff all the time. Like extra extremely tight. I can't wear extremely tight stuff all the time. So that's that. Then I did get the velour set. So we're with my, I have this really cute um, fur bucket, bucket hat. And I'm definitely, ooh. Yes, ma'am. Oh yes, ma'am, I can't wait to put you on. And these are the pants. Oh, I don't know the pockets with zippers. Jesus, these pants look huge. I should have got extra small. I really like my pants to hug my butt. Let me try these on right quick. I'm gonna start editing this vlog. This is gonna be the end of me. This is gonna be the closeout of this um, weekly vlog. I know I didn't do too much, and I know I've been in the house like this whole majority of this weekly vlog, but really just preparing for my birthday. I'm not trying to stretch myself too thin. So I hope you guys enjoy my weekly vlog. I think this is only my like third one. But yes, please comment, like, subscribe, and turn your notifications on because we are going to have a lot of fun for my birthday, y'all. And I can't wait for y'all to see. So, 
Peace out, and I hope you guys have a good weekend. Happy Sunday.